Hi, my name's Aaron, and in this video, we're gonna talk about metal roof recovers and which recover option is the right fit for your building. All right guys, in our last video about the metal roof recovers, I introduced you to a couple of recover options for your metal buildings. So I've got the PVC recover, so you can go membrane over metal, or right here, I've got the metal over metal recover option. And in this video, we're gonna focus on when would each option be appropriate? So that's what we're gonna discuss. We're gonna talk about, so you say you have a metal building and you, you like both options and you just are trying to figure out which option might be the right fit for your building. Well, that's what we're gonna talk about. All right guys, so here's the setup here on the mock-up. Just in case you haven't seen some of the other videos, here is the sample of an existing metal roof on a steel building. Remember, these are steel building demos or products for steel buildings. So here's a metal over metal recover and here's the membrane over metal recover. They're both good options and both options can be done on most buildings. However, there are some design features that will, would leave me, if I were to do an evaluation of your building, I would suggest a membrane over a metal or a metal over a membrane in certain scenarios. So we're gonna cover a couple of those scenarios where I think that the membrane might be a better fit. They, like I said, they'll both work on most buildings and they're both great options, but there's just a couple of scenarios where I think the membrane will be a better fit for you and that's what we're gonna discuss. All right, so probably the design feature number one that we would wanna cover, uh, where I think that a recover with membrane would, would be better than a, a metal over metal recover would be where a metal roof has been maybe added onto, and you're gonna have a slope that's gonna tie into a wall, and it's gonna head into a wall, and at that point there's gonna be like an integrated gutter or a box gutter. Those scenarios, I will usually recommend a membrane over metal because that integrated gutter is gonna need to be waterproofed with a membrane, and to, to do, if you're already there with a membrane, it kind of makes sense to cover the other slope with a membrane. The next scenario that I would say, probably I would recommend a membrane would be where two steel buildings have been built side by side and you've got two converging slopes with a gutter in between the two. These are very hard to waterproof. They tend to leak and every time I've seen the old buildings, they're, they're leaking and that's where people want the repair is in that gutter. Now, we waterproof those gutters with this PVC in between, but it makes sense to line the metal up the side to do the metal roof recover, bring the metal down both slopes, and then line that integrated gutter, and then come back out. It seems to make the most sense, so in that scenario, I would also recommend the PVC. And then probably the third scenario that I would recommend the PVC on would be where a steel building has a parapet wall all the way around it, and the the slopes will dive into a wall and also have that integrated gutter. So in those special scenarios, I, I will tend to say that the, the membrane, because you're already there with the membrane in that gutter to try to waterproof it, so it makes sense to continue and go ahead and recover the metal with the membrane. Probably one other scenario too where I think the membrane is a better fit would be on maybe a manufacturing facility or something with some processes inside the plant where there's gonna be a lot of large exhaust fans, more than average, or where there's gonna be a, a, a very tight a group of curbs or exhaust fans where things are gonna be piled right on top of each other or a, like one of these mezzanine type situations where a lot of mechanicals is gonna come out of the roof and be sitting on a steel post propped up. Those, those can be roofed in metal. You can do a metal over metal, but but it drives the cost up and it drives the difficulty level up on that. These PVC recovers in those scenarios when there's a lot of abnormal uh, exhaust or vents or uh, manufacturing uh, pipes that are large in, 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 in size and strange to, to flash around, the membrane is very flexible and there's flashings of all sizes, custom flashings for those different things. So it's a little bit easier. So if you can get the building dry in, the, in an efficient, quick way, I think that's the better route than just trying to stick to one product. So in those, those scenarios, I would say the PVC would probably be, be a better fit. And that's probably what we would recommend if your facility has a lot of, uh, a lot of tight, compacted exhaust or manufacturing uh, venting or, or things like that. Maybe the PVC is the, the better fit in that scenario. 
Now for, to talk about the metal over metal recover and where do I think that the metal over metal recover is a good fit for it? Well, I think the metal over metal recover is a fantastic fit for almost anywhere except for the places that I just mentioned. So the integrated gutter or a place where there's a big congestion of rooftop obstacles, anywhere besides that, I love the metal over metal. The 238T is what we recover metal with metal and it is a fantastic system. It is gonna last a very long time. And what I mean by long time, I'm saying 35 to 50 years. It is seamless all the way up. So it, it's my, it's my, product of choice if uh, all things being equal now I like I and we went over the, the the other ideas sometimes it's not a fit but for us uh, your average metal building with normal skylights normal vents normal exhaust stacks a, a normal amount of, of uh, rooftop obstacles you know and not right on top of each other this is a great product that can be uh, roofed in and dried in for a very long time and and the metal is it's just, it's just hard to beat so you know, you gotta consider you gotta consider the design features, and you've also gotta con consider the the roof difficulty level. Some roofs are gonna be just very difficult to roof with metal. They'd be better suited for the PVC. And some some roofs, the the owner's preference is metal, and and they can get metal, and it's it, so they they go metal. So it, there's there's the preference and there's also the fit. So if we evaluate your building, we're gonna take into consideration your preferences, what you like, but also the situation that you would have and how we best think we can waterproof. But one of these two options uh, is gonna be a good fit for your building and it's gonna keep your, your building dry for a long time.